Uh, as soon as you get to the stern, look over the, the flight deck to those big hangars or sheds over there. They read HM Naval Base Portsmouth. That used to be the site of BAE Systems. Sadly, we don't build ships here now. But we got the contract for all the maintenance and refit. The Wave Knight Auxiliary Ship 389 was a fast fleet tanker, a replenishment at sea ship. So you would rendezvous with her at sea, and she would fill you up with fuel. While you were there, you could pick water, ammunition. You could even order spare parts, she'd bring them out to you. She wasn't big enough to look after the aircraft carrier. This is being done by much bigger and newer Tide class tankers. So she's been taken out of service, mothballed, and she's up for sale. Now the round stone tower we're just coming up to here was built by some of the Napoleonic prisoners who were digging out this end of the harbour. We got them to build it so our guard could stand up on the top here and try and keep some sort of watch over these guys. They were scattered like ants from here all the way back to the aircraft carrier digging all of this side of the harbour away. It took years. The tower is the end of the Royal Naval Quay. Now we're looking into the commercial port of Portico. Portico are the second biggest importer of fruits and vegetables in the UK. Second.
the section at the end here of the town now in Denver Key a boat builder. There's been a boat builder of one type or another over here for close to 200 years. Uh, up until the 1960s, a very famous boat building company called Camper Nicholson was here. Now in the 1930s, amongst many, many other boats, they designed and built four of them right here J-class racing yachts for the America's Cup, mostly owned by very wealthy Americans now, who choose to keep them in much sunnier climes. A good view from here of Spinnaker Tower, 170 metres or 560 <coughs> foot tall. As they were building it for the Millennium, they wanted to call it the Millennium Tower, only from day one of its construction. Problem after problem, setback after setback, it's eventually completed in 2004, so they call it Spinnaker Tower, as it's supposed to look like a Spinnaker sail. The estimated build cost back then was six to eight million pounds, and the lottery people said we'll pay for that. Four years behind schedule, it rockets to 34 million, they say we're not paying for that, and it's left to the local ratepayers to pick up the town. On a clear day, they say from the platforms, you can see 23 miles or more of continuous coastline. Over to the right of us then is Hasler Creek, which of course was HMS Dolphin, the Royal Navy submarine base. The last of the diesel class submarines and left here in 1987. The new ones all becoming nuclear heading to Denver Port and Hasley. It still remained as Dolphin till 1990. Now just in case you don't know, there's a big black...